Hey folks, I hope you're having a good day today. And I just found out a sprayer that would work with my DIY odor stopper slash cleaner. And you're gonna find out why I call it a cleaner. Boy, have I done a lot of things lately with this. I tell you, it's really, really awesome. So let's first make our mix real quick, just so you remember. One quart of hydrogen peroxide, 3% from Costco. And always mix it in a separate container. Don't shake it up in the bottle because it'll, it'll spill over. Gets a little foamy in there. Okay, there's your one teaspoon of Dawn. Okay, mix that in there, get it off the spoon. Okay, and one quarter cup of baking soda. So one quart of this, one teaspoon of this, one quarter cup of this. Okay, and then you're gonna stir it up. I mean, stir it up good, because that baking soda will clog that bottle up really fast if you don't stir it up real good. So we're gonna do that real quick here, stir it up for a little bit, and then we'll get right back to it. All right, so I've stirred for about a minute here. Looks like the mix is all mixed up nice and good. And my new bottle here, my Zep bleach resistant sprayer. Okay, I got this at Lowe's. It's a little under six bucks. And this puppy is perfect. Okay, get my funnel going on here. Now I'm gonna add my mix. Uh, a little messy here. <laughs> there it goes. Look at that. Going right on in. All right. And now... We are going to put the cap on and I'm going to show you some things you can do with this that I couldn't even believe myself. And okay. here we go. Here's some grout here that I've already done. Look at that. Look at it. It's beautiful. And look how easy it's going to be to do. Now watch this. Okay. We're going to go to grout. I have not done right here. Okay. Get my sprayer going on. Okay, get a brush. Not much effort needed. Watch this. Wow, look at that, huh? Get a zoom in on that one. Woo -hoo. Look at that, yeah. What it looked look like before. Now what it looks like now. Look at that, in seconds. Awesome. Okay, now this rescue bulldog we just rescued has been peeing all over the side of my house. But with my DIY odor stopper slash cleaner, it eliminates the smell and it eliminates the urine. Oh, that's so much better. It doesn't smell like that bulldog's pee. Right on. Next one. That bulldog's been peeing on my walls, too. Check this out. Wipe off the urine. Get the mix. DIY deodorizer. Odor stopper. Cleaner. Yeah. Let it sit for one minute. Let's wait okay. a minute. A minute's been over. Now we just wipe it off. Let me smell it real quick here. Oh, thank goodness it doesn't smell like pee anymore. And boy, that stuff was bad, let me tell you. And if you get a little bit of residue on there, it'll just be the baking soda. If you take a dry rag or a dry brush and just wipe it off, nothing, no damage, no bads there. Next, also my DIY odor stopper. I've been using it on carpet now too. Got a pee spot right here. Sit there and blot it up as much as you can get up. Spray it with the DIY odor stopper. Okay. 
Rub it in. Wait about five to 15 minutes. Come back. Blot it all up. Let it air dry. And it'll smell just fresh. Now, some dark carpets and some other carpets may be affected a little by this uh, hydrogen peroxide in there. So be careful. Test it on an area that you're not going to use so you know it's not going to ruin the carpet or change the color too much. But I haven't had really any major bad problems. I'd rather have it smell clean than smell like pee. But anyway, I have been finding all kinds of uses, folks. Even blood, doggy blood on the walls. from the, He has like an injured leg. They had him tied to the ground in the backyard. And uh, he bled all over a bunch of places. And it just comes right off. Let okay. me show you. Here he is. And there's that leg over here that's been bleeding. That's where they had him tied up. We're gonna, the doctor says it'll heal itself. And there's some blood right there. We're going to clean that right up. Okay, here we go. DIY odor stopper slash cleaner. Look at it working right now. Working on that blood. Look at it go. Let's give it in a moment and then we'll wipe it up. All right, it's done fizzing and look, it's all gone. Must be that hydrogen peroxide just chewing it all off. Well, folks, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, except for a little residue from the baking soda, this stuff really cleans a lot of stuff up, especially bad stuff, stuff you can't stand at all. So it works for me. Good luck, God bless. And I'll put the uh, link for the description of the sprayer here at the bottom.